Fear of missing out. We've all heard this FOMO, you know, YOLO, YOYO, all these little abbrevi cute little abbreviations. What is the meaning of fear of missing out? What what what's the message is trying to get across? Well, what the message is is that you know if you don't partake in certain activities, you might be missing out on some kind of fun or some kind of adventure or something of that nature, right? Like you missing out on a lot of fun. You feel me? And I'm here to tell y'all fellas and my young ladies too, because I know I got young ladies, uh, and I feel like this FOMO theory affects young women even more feel me because they're real social they're real social creatures way more than men because men we could kind of be in solitude for a little bit we'll be all right but females they need that constant you know social gatherings and, and whatnot right so fellas trust me you are not missing out on nothing i know what it is you guys be seeing or looking at your snapchats looking at your ig tiktoks whatever you be seeing people out and about, having fun, drinking, getting plastered, right? And you thinking to yourself, dang, man, I wasn't there. I'm missing out. I'm missing out on this. Let me tell y'all something, man. You are not missing out on nothing. Because, and this is not telling you to not have fun. This is not telling you to just be a complete antisocial robot that just never steps outside his crib. OK, that's not what I'm saying whatsoever. You feel me? But it goes into excess. It starts getting into excess with a lot of younger, especially younger folks, because I know I'm I'm saying this this whole thing of of don't don't worry, you ain't missing out on stuff. But you can tell that to young folk all you want and they're still going to do what they do. And you guys be seeing your friends or what have you or maybe influencers, whatever. You know, they're having fun on a rooftop drinking that shit is fine and dandy that's great but you are not really missing out on nothing okay these guys are, are these folk they're just in the clubs or in bars getting plastered doing the same thing over and over again and it's just portrayed and another thing too is the problem with social media is it's it makes the thing much more exciting than it looks you feel me? It makes it more exciting than what it seems. There's a saying. It's called putting a hundred on ten, right? It, it, it's it's really like the experience isn't that fun, but social media makes it look like this whole extravagant ordeal. Fellas, let me tell y'all. Y'all go to these bars, clubs, whatever. I've done it numerous, too many times to even count. Right? Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna go out, right? You're gonna have to pay a shit ton of money right? You're going to have to pay a shit ton. you paying 60 bucks off rip, especially if you live in like a major city. You're going to pay 60 bucks off rip. That's just, that's like the minimum if you're getting drinks, because then you're going to go out, you're going to get hammered. And when you get drunk, we all know what happens. You start being careless. You start being careless with your money. You're going to spend, like I said, at least 60 bucks. That's just, that's just on drinks by themselves. I didn't mention the afterwards drunk munchies that you're going to have, right? Because, of course, you're going to want to hit IHOP or Waffle House or Denny's or whatever your preference is, right? So that's like 100 bucks right there. Then you're going to go home, right? Most of the chicks there, most of the time, are not there, are not in clubs to get dudes, right? Some of them are, okay? Some of them are. Some of them are looking for like a quick little hookup. But for the most part... They're out there just to get validation, just to get their little self-esteem boost up, okay? They're trying to get a self-esteem boost because females that don't get enough compliments, I guess, and they feel like they ain't getting enough compliments, when they hit a drunk, when they hit a bar or a club full of drunk, drunk idiots, they're going to be getting, they're going to be feeling like they Beyonce in that hole. They're like, okay, I got my little self-esteem boost. Then when you give them that compliment, bam, they're gone. When you buy them that drink, right? A lot of guys be buying these chicks at a bar that they don't know from a can of paint. They buy them shots. So now that's that's another 20 bucks on shots. Then get what get what she's finna do when she gets those shots. She's finna pew, bounce. This is the oldest tactic in the book, fellas. A chick, a stranger chick that you don't know from Adam and Eve to a can of paint 
to a bucket of damn shrimp is going to come up to you smiling. Hey, hey, handsome. Hey, can you buy me a drink? Oh, yeah, I got you. And you drunk as hell. So you thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm finna get her a drink. I'm, I'm in there. I'm in there like swim hair without the chin hair. Right. That's what you're thinking in your head. You buy her a drink. You look back. Pshoo, that that chick done pulled a Snapchat on you. She's ghost. She gone. She Snapchatted you. You feel me? And then you're going to go to sleep. You're going to eat a bunch of junk food after you get out. You're going to eat a whole bunch of hamburgers. You're going to eat a whole bunch of nachos or a big me. And for, for me, it was a big steak omelet at IHOP or like the, the omelets at Waffle House with the cheese on top of the hash browns with the bacon. And the, you know what I'm saying? All this bullshit. Then you're going to go to sleep at five in the morning and not wake up. You're going to wake up feeling feeling like absolute garbage, right? You're going to be feeling like absolute trash. Your mood is going to be trash. Your performance is going to be trash. You ain't going to have enough energy to do nothing, right? And let's say you do a bag of shorty for the night, whatever. You have some cheap five-minute sex, right, with some stranger, stranger chick that you met at a club. She's probably not high quality either. She probably just, she was probably looking for, for a quick run through at, through the night. She probably got a boyfriend at home. So you ain't going to hear from her again, right? Cause she just used you for a hookup. And then you're going to be like, damn, that really, really wasn't worth it. Same thing with young ladies, young ladies, y'all be hitting these clubs or y'all be, uh, excuse me. Y'all be hit, seeing your homegirls hitting these clubs, you know, be, being like, damn, I missed out on that. You ain't missing out on nothing. Your home, those same homegirls going to the same spot three times, like going out for the third time that week, taking down shots, making, going in there just to get validation from guys just so, so they could get an ego boost because their self-esteem is shot. Self-esteem is trash as fuck, right? Uh, that's, that's just sad. That's pitiful. And then afterwards, they're going to hit up same ordeal. Waffle House, they might hop in a McDonald's drive through get like three cheeseburgers, right? Then by the time these young ladies hit age 30, they're going to be looking much worse than they need to be because they were all that partying, sleeping at six in the morning, getting piped down by different dudes every week. That's going to take a mental and physical toll. You feel me? That's going to take a mental and physical toll. So ask yourself, what are you really missing out on? What's what's really the experience you're missing out on? Getting hammered, doing hard drugs, waking up looking like looking like a zombie. You feel me? Motherfucking sleep bags, all type of wrinkles popping up, especially when you get around the age of 30 ish. It's just you're not you're not missing out on nothing. Now, of course, like I said, have your fun. Just be cognizant. Be mindful that this is not like the uh missing you're not missing out on you don't gotta attend every single event you don't gotta attend every single club outing you don't gotta attend every single bar hop you feel me you're not really missing out on shit okay what you are missing out on is your health what you are missing out on is waking up early to be constructive not constructive productive right and I'm not saying I'm an angel here like I've never done it or I don't do it from time to time, but it's like cut off to a point where I rarely do that shit ever because I know I'm not missing that on nothing. And fortunately, it takes a lot of people to hopefully, hopefully it's some youngsters that are watching this that appreciate this message. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, all I'm from a 32 year old. I'm not old by any means. I'm still young, but I'm old. I'm a grown ass man, <clears throat> man, right? I'm telling you, all you are not missing out on shit, ladies. You're not missing out. Your friends are out there thotting around, getting passed around like a blunt, right? Your, your homegirl's getting passed around like a blunt every single night. Then by the time she hits 30, she looks like absolute garbage. That's, that's not where y'all want to be, right? So anyway, I hope this video helped. Peace.